You're tearing me apart, Lisa! Oh, hi, Adult Swim. I got the results of the test back. I definitely have April Fools. Dragon Ball Z is coming up next. On to Nami. It did too, and before he died, he told me everything. Frieza fears the Saiyans, which means he's afraid of me. Don't flatter yourself. What Frieza feared was the entire Saiyan race rising up against him. All alone, you're no threat to anyone. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Impress me, Vegeta. <laughs> Your fighting skills have come a long way since the last time we met, but not quite far enough. <laughs> so, I'm not strong enough to beat you, huh? Funny, because that's what I thought I was doing. Oh wait, unless you're trying to tell me you've been holding back. That's right. You figured it out. I knew you would. It's time I showed you my true power, so watch closely. This isn't something I like to do very often. You ever hear the saying, beauty is only skin deep? Well, right now, you're only seeing the be- Let's see it! All right, then. So be it. But consider yourself warned. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, you only saw the beauty side of me before. Now with great pleasure, I introduce you to the beast! Uh, 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 Ha <laughs> ha 
Serves him right for making me go to all the trouble of transforming. Now I'd better get back to Frieza. He'll want to hear this news. I'd kill you where you stand, but Frieza wants me to take you alive. Consider yourself lucky. The only thing I'm going to consider is how much pain I make you endure before I end your pathetic little life. Come on, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> He's stronger than he was before. <laughs> Your power is pathetic. <laughs> what a waste of time. <laughs> Congratulations, you're the first to see this form a sec. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 
Vegeta, you're dead! <laughs> Face it, Zorban. You're no match for me. I'm far stronger. Now would be a good time to start begging me to spare your life. Begging you? <laughs> your smart mouth won't be so noisy once I crush your skull. The first and last mistake you made was to underestimate the power of a Saiyan warrior. <laughs> While so many others grow weaker during battle, we Saiyans become stronger. <laughs> You're wrong! I can kill you in any form, Zarbon! <laughs> <laughs> Sound like you're begging for your life after all, Zarbon. Uh, Vegeta, spare me, and we'll be a team. Uh, we'll defeat Raza together. <laughs> 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 I've been down with Mass Effect from the jump, so when Mass Effect 3 came out, I was all over it. You can't import your custom Shepard from the first game, which kinda sucks, but you can get him or her pretty close. Oh yeah, look at that sweet mug. The Earth is in trouble and, spoiler alert, you're the only one who can save it. We fight, or we die. Your mission? Get all the different races to join your fight against the Reapers. Seems like maybe the galaxy would finally believe you, but they still take some convincing. Every time you get somebody on board, you're one step closer to survival. We face our enemy together, and together we will defeat them. BioWare put back in some of the RPG stuff they stripped out of Mass Effect 2, Well, it's still pretty basic. Don't worry though, because this game is all about the story. How you deal with people gives you Paragon or Renegade points. I like to use a little of both. Drop me off someplace. Enough! There's a ton of quests, big and small. Keeping track of the smaller ones can be a pain, but overall, this game is great. It looks amazing, sounds kick-ass. If you've played the other ones, your previous choices are sprinkled throughout the story. They don't let you roll with many of your friends from the last games, which is a bummer, but you do get some choices. And most importantly, you still get to hook up. I think if you're saving the galaxy, you should get two or three, but they make you just pick one. And I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Admittedly, the ending is weak. They say there's a new ending coming out. But either way, the game's still totally worth playing. Toonami gives Mass Effect 3 an 8.5 out of 10. Someday, this war's gonna end. Receive up to 100% coverage for preventive care and up to 50% on basic and major procedures. Encore Dental can help keep your teeth healthy, which may prevent infections that lead to heart disease and stroke. And with the high cost of procedures, it makes sense to have great coverage. Choose your level of benefits. There are no claim forms to fill out and no waiting for reimbursement. So go ahead, review it for 30 days. Call 1-800-757-9706. Call now and save an additional 10%. Call now and save an additional 10%. light does gets in your head you can't avoid it you can't escape it because with light
like does. Waves on it. Do it like does. In the 7.9 ounce Audi Zero Five Star. Ladies and gentlemen, our last hope rested upon the shoulders of Mr. Satan. But now that he's lost, does this mean we're all doomed? This should be good. Yeah. All right, Kakarot. It's time to see what you can do. Well, if I were fighting that twerp, I'd bend him into a pretzel and eat him for lunch. But lucky for him, I'm on a strict diet. <laughs> Enough joking. Here's my prediction. In five seconds, that kid's gonna be history. <laughs> I sure hope he's got a health plan. But really, it's good that he's fighting because it'll make my fight look even better. <laughs> Ding. What do you think of the fight so far? Oh yeah, fight, uh, right. I think it's a good fight, but I would beat both of them with one hand tied behind my back. Uh, Sorry, but did you think you had defeated me? Huh. I won't fall for your cheap pranks. I knew all along that it wouldn't be that easy to take you out, Cell. <laughs> I thought it'd be appropriate to play a little joke since you aren't fighting me seriously. Hey, you're holding back as well. 
Little by little I shall reveal to you the perfect power that lies within me. Bring it on. Where'd they go? Huh? I've never seen anything like this. They keep disappearing. Mm, it's just a cheap optical illusion. Huh? <laughs> These doorknobs are cracking me up. <laughs> Krillin! I'm sorry. Their speed. It's incredible. I can't keep up. Oh. So you think that's fast? Wait until you see me. <laughs> oh. Oh. It looks like those two are back at it again. Hmm. This is just what gives fighting a bad name. <laughs> Goku! Oh, I see them now. Like I said, they were just hiding. You feel that terrific force. That's the same thing I felt when he knocked me from the ring. Yes, same here. There is something most very strange going on here. They keep on cheating with these second grade illusions. They clearly have no respect for the martial arts. <laughs> 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 Goku! The edge of the ring! It looks like Cell's in control. But how come? Huh? Huh? How come Dad isn't taking this seriously? What? <laughs> well, well, just as I thought. Kakarot and Cell are simply having sport with one another. up to yes now we will see oh, 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 oh. 
This is happening. Show me the true power of a Super Saiyan. Last a worthy opponent. This is the competition I've been waiting for. Since our powers are almost equal, it should make for an interesting contest, don't you think? Yeah, count on it. So at last, I've seen Kakarot's true power. How did he get so strong? <sighs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> huh? Multi-form! He can't be! I don't know. This looks bad. <laughs> How do you like these odds? Look, he's separated into four parts by using one of Tien's techniques. No! Goku! You had this planned, right, Cell? <laughs> Cell has moved to the four corners of the ring. He has the challenger surrounded. It doesn't look good for our spiky-haired hero. Are we about to witness the first crushing defeat in this competition? No way. This trick won't work on me. We'll see about that. <laughs> well done. I see that your fighting skills keep improving. Well, thanks. I try. Hmm. <laughs> oh, but this match isn't over yet. You have no idea what I have in store for you next. <sighs> hey, isn't that... Yeah, that's my technique. Special Beam Cannon! <laughs> right this way. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Cell! He did it! Look, he's right. No, it can't be! Kids on this! Is that mine? Whoa, look at that! That disc is following Goku everywhere! Nice try, Goku. The cell from Frieza that's inside me tells me you are trying to draw that disc back this way. No chance. It went right through him. This time I'll finish you off for good.
Ugh, there's no way you can beat me with your stolen fighting techniques. Now, give up. It's over when I say it's over. Hmm? Put that much power into the Kamehameha! It's too dangerous! Ah! It'll kill us all! Ah! Hey, Cell! Up here! just fired some sort of earth-shattering mega-blast at his competitor. Luckily, the nimble newcomer was able to divert the bomb away from the planet. We all owe that guy a big thanks for saving me from certain destruction. Thanks to him, this broadcast will go on. Oh, the humanity! Hey, what was that? <clears throat> Our two warriors are still standing, so this contest isn't over yet. But if another bomb like that last one goes off, it could mean the end of this tournament and every one of us! Way to go, Dad. That was a close one. But how? That blast was too close for you to have possibly escaped. I guess it was luck. Of course, you're very lucky. But how did you disappear and reappear again? A new technique. The instant transmission. Instant, huh? Sounds like a useful little maneuver. Yeah, it is. You know, that blast would have completely destroyed the Earth if I hadn't flown up and diverted it. Yeah, maybe so. But I knew you would do something heroic to save it. <laughs> oh, I see. So you were counting on me. Well, don't get the wrong idea. I don't care one bit about this planet or its filthy people. Where is he? He's increased his speed. I can't even see where he is. Am I too fast for you, Goku? Fast, look at him go. Try harder, Dad. I know you can do it. Do not adjust your television sets, ladies and gentlemen. These two fighters really are moving faster than the human eye can see. Honest. Uh, say, champ, these guys aren't amateurs, are they? Oh. 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 Goku! Hey, 
I have no earthly idea where they are. Not a bad fight, Goku. Perhaps you are worthy of fighting a warrior of my supreme stature. Oh boy. Too bad all the fights won't be this good. Now, let us continue. Goku, don't give up! Dad, hang on! <laughs> hey! Get away from the ring! No! blew the ring up! How do you like that, Goku? It's quite an improvement, don't you think? Now the whole desert is our ring. Let's say the last one standing wins the game. I see. So it's a fight to the finish. Would you have it any other way? No, I guess not. Right. That's enough talk, Goku. Now it's time to continue the game. Huh? Get out of there, Goku! on Earth could go on for some time. Goku and Cell both possess incredible strength and neither of them would ever think of giving up. Strange, their power level isn't decreasing, it's growing. Look, Goku! He's way up there! Hey, what's he doing? Come 
Everyone, get down! Take cover! Get moving! Goku's releasing the Kamehameha! <sighs> <sighs> Goku wouldn't dare emit the Kamehameha wave attack from there. He'll destroy the Earth if he dies. <laughs> ah, just relax, guys. Goku's crazy, but he's not that crazy. There's nothing to worry about. Ah! Uh? No! Goku! <laughs> no! Don't do it! Please, Dad, don't! <laughs> no, he wouldn't! No! <laughs> left in Cell's body. <laughs> Get away from him, Goku! Cell is gonna regenerate himself! Uh, huh? Regeneration? Huh? <laughs> Leaping lizards! The headless Cell is back on his feet! Huh? Known that you'd be able to regenerate yourself. Of course, thanks to Piccolo's cell. <sighs> he just won't die! <laughs> I may not have beaten you with that blast cell, but I can sense that your power level has gone down sharply because of it. Perhaps, but you're the one who seems to have trouble catching his breath. I know what you did. You pushed most of your energy into that last attack, Goku. But I'm still standing, and all your power's drained, which means your fight is over. That's not true! I'll show you. Cell has come out swinging, and the unknown challenger seems to be using his face to block! That's gotta hurt! The power! They are both so strong, I can't believe it! Is this battle too much for you, Goku? No! Ha! <laughs> 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 
He's got it! Goku's going to win! Monster off for good, Goku! <laughs> All right, Cell is going down! It's about time. We won, guys! <clears throat> Do it! Finish him off, Dad. <laughs> Maestro, are you okay? Shall I give you a hand? Uh, no, no problem here. Just getting warmed up, that's all. Their power levels have dropped tremendously, but Goku's is dropping much faster. If he doesn't act soon, Goku is going to lose. Are you feeling tired, Goku? You've lost a lot of strength. <laughs> Why don't you take a breather? Perhaps one of those sensu beans would help you. Hey, this is our chance! If Goku eats a sensu bean, he can get his strength back and take Cell down! That's right! Cell said he could! Come on, Krillin. We will wait. Mm -hmm. Wait for what? He needs a sensu bean! Quiet, boy! Where is your honor? Like all pure-blooded Saiyans, Kakarot would rather die fighting than win with one of those disgraceful sensu beans as his crutch. Kakarot trained in the hyperbolic time chamber just as we did. Now let's see what he can do. No, we can't! Goku doesn't have the strength! Don't you see what will happen if he keeps going like this? If this goes on, then he will die. <laughs> I can feel your power slipping away, Goku. I don't think you can last much longer. <laughs> You know, it's hardly worth my effort to finish you off now. But I wouldn't want to disappoint the television audience because I know they want to see a real champion. The next battle we engage in will be your last, Goku. <laughs> You're right about one thing, Cell. The world does want to see a real champion. Oh! Oh! <laughs> hmm. 
It's over, Cell. You win. <sighs> I give up. I know how strong you are. There's no point in continuing this fight. I can't beat you. Huh? You coward! No! Goku! No! Don't do it! What? No way! Goku never gives up! What? Goku's turning his back on us? No! Don't give up! Boy has the right to dream. There are endless possibilities stretched out before him. You have to trust in your own power. Whatever happens from now on, you stand firm and face your destiny without fear, but with courage. What awaits him down the path, he will then have to choose. No one's gonna give you a map. You've gotta walk your own path. The children leave their homes in search of this quest. What is thy desire? As they search, they are always asking questions. What's out there? What's waiting for me? Why was I made? Who made me? And what did they make me for? Are you gonna go up into space with your old man or not? Maybe I'll never get over this. I've lived my life following my dreams, and I don't have any regrets. You're gonna just keep running away? Just keep running away? I'm not running. your own destiny. Don't fear failure. Texas, Black Dynamite agrees to bodyguard Richard Pryor. Look here, Mr. Comedy Man. Now, I don't get you or your comedy jokes or comedy in general. But what I am going to get is you to the Sunset Strip so I can pay my damn taxes. Can you dig it? As a matter of fact, it was a package from the IRS right now. No! Ah! Ooh, looks like I need to get the f up out of here. New Black Dynamite, this Sunday at 11.30. Send a note. Stay informed. Catch a show. Make your point. Make a memory. Make a masterpiece. Read something. Watch something. And learn something. Do it all more beautifully with the Retina Display on iPad. We're testing new degree, the only antiperspirant activated directly by movement. Activating protection, bear! The more you move, the more it works. <laughs> new long-lasting degree with motion sense. Not me! Keep running! It's taking Taco Bell years to perfect, and you, seconds to devour. Introducing the irresistible Doritos Locos Tacos. A taco supreme in a shell made out of real nacho cheese Doritos. To save their town from a witch's curse, an unlikely team will come together. Oh, yeah. The cheerleader. This is getting completely out of hand. The jock. What do we do? You're the oldest. Not mentally. The bully. Zombies. Are they feed our brains? Yeah. I think you'll be safe. The geek. Don't make me throw this hummus. It's spicy. And Norman. I know a way to stop this. Ah! Paranormal. Rated PG. Tenshi Muyo is coming up next. Dimensional Rift Detected. Dimensional Rift Detected. What in the heck is going on here? On Tsunami. I am going to destroy this entire universe. But why? Quickly, there isn't much time. The only thing that is important to me right now is Tenshi.
systems activated. Unlock the time freeze now. All systems synchronized to breach standard time. What planet is this? Colonized planet number 0315, Earth. Then this is where my brother Yosho is. No, what we detected from this planet is Ryoko. Huh? Not that woman. What does this mean? We have yet to detect Yosho's ship, but he was in pursuit of Ryoko. Logically, it would follow then. I see. That, that woman and Ryo Oki must be caught and tried formally by our planet Jirai as soon as possible. Princess Aieka, unfortunately, all of Ryoko's crimes will be cancelled by statute of limitations at Galaxy Standard Time 00432, or in five seconds. Hmm? What? As of this moment, the statute of limitations has taken effect, and Ryoko's Galaxy Wanted file has been destroyed. Destroyed? Answer me, why is it? The statute of limitations is based on decisions made by the Holy Council of Planet Jirai. That is not what I have asked. I want to know why that woman is not sought for all eternity. The statute of limitations is based on decisions made by the Holy Council of the Planet Never Jirai. Mind. The only clue left to us is that woman. We must capture her at any cost. But the statute of limitations... This is an order. We will think of a reason. Yes, ma'am. Good. Now prepare for descent. Anti-air guard, storming level four. Be well, my dearest Yosho. Please be well. Oh, good. I don't believe it. Now, I want your balls, please. What? No way! They're mine! I'm gonna hang on to them! Oh, you numbskull! I mean the three jewels on your sword! Otherwise, I can't control Ryo Oki. Ryo Oki? Oh, don't tell me you don't know what that is! It's the other demon in the legend, you dimwit. So that means if I give the jewels back to you, the demon will come back to life? Forget it! No if about it. Give them to me. No way! You made this mess all by yourself. You think I want to deal with another monster flying around when you're already blowing things up? Jeez, that's the last thing I want to see! Are you sure? Because the one approaching us right now is even worse. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Just give me the sword. I want it, and I want it now! Uh, huh. I... Uh, uh, ha. Oh. <laughs> ow! 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 Damn it! Oh! Ah, so you can't touch this thing, can you? Uh. Hey, be quiet! What's going on up there, Tenchi? These kids today, I tell you, I don't know. Oh, my God! Ooh, and I worried about him being too shy with women. <laughs> now he's gone and sneaked one into his room. If I were his mother, I'd find some excuse to barge in, but as his father, it's my duty to respect his privacy. Please give them back. I beg you. Well, now I really can't do that. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Okay, all right. But only if you'll tell me what's approaching us. Oh, she's the devil. Huh? She's like a devil. She's so dangerous and mean, she'll fire at you without even giving you a teeny weeny little chance to explain. Achoo! Huh? Begin the capture process as soon as we arrive, and you must refrain from firing. Yes, ma'am. We will soon arrive at our destination. Well, it's very simple. We'll talk to this person and uh, we'll just try to settle matters peacefully. Hmm. Mm -mm. Not a good idea, huh? Is she really that bad?
Yes, listen to me. We need to wake up Rio Oki now. Don't tell me we're gonna fight! No, we'll run away. Huh? Yes, it's my duty to respect his privacy, but also my duty to record my son's development in sex. I mean life. Oh, my wife in heaven. You should see how your son has grown. What? Oh, oh! Ah! <laughs> Honey, is that you? Ryoko, come out! Damn, I knew it. She's here already. Huh? Ryoko! Ryoko, you must come out! I know that you are in there. You cannot get away from me now! Are you sure this is on? Yes, ma'am. Well, then, what is she doing? Oh, never mind. I want you to fire a shot nearby. I thought we were to refrain from fire. That's an order! I told you. What are we supposed to do now? Hmm. Well, for starters, why didn't you stand up? Now, point the sword hilt toward me and pray to have the jewels returned to me. That's it? That That's all I do? That's all. Hmm. on now you only gave me one that's right <laughs> well that's okay <laughs> come Rio Oki. awaken awaken This criminal battleship! Attack that ship! Fire now! What is this? What's going on? She's trying to blow up my house! Let's go, Tenshi! No, why me? <laughs> okay, Ryooki, let's make our getaway! This is the feeling! Oh, it's good to be moving so freely again. Oh, my God, my house! Sorry, I didn't have time to worry about it, so I shrank it and brought it along with us, if that's okay. Dad! Damn that woman. Fire at her when ready! Ah! Seal her up! <gasps> oh! Oh! Cannot escape us. Hazaka, Kamadaki, go! Capture her! Yes, ma'am, yes. Don't get near! Stay back! Guardians of Jirai! It's been a while, hasn't it, Ryoko? I have been looking for you for some time. I have a question. Tell me, why did that Earthling have this sword with him? Answer me! Stop! Stop! You're tickling me! Oh. Enough! This 
seems to have an opposite effect on you. You're behaving like, um, what's that called? A masochist? Oh, yes. That's what they call it. Actually, little princess, I'm more of a sadist. Oh, my. Does that mean you like to... Never mind. That's completely unimportant. <gasps> I'll ask you again. Why did that young man have this sword? You bonehead. What? Don't you feel it in his blood? You're not answering my question. Because the sword is his. Don't be so ridiculous. You know this sword belongs to my brother. Now, where is he? Where is my brother, Yosho? Half-brother, you mean. And you came all this way just to look for him. <laughs> Things must be dull on planet Jirai. You royal types must be really bored. Silence, criminal! How dare you! Well, well... My brother's disappearance all started because of you! Oh, is that what happened? Oh! 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 Ah! Oh! oh! Stop! Stop, please! You can stop now! Now answer me! Then she probably knows more about Yosho than I do. Go talk to him. But... Why would this sword know the whereabouts of my brother? Oh, yeah, I forgot. The sword is called Tenshi, too. No, I mean the Earthling boy. He's called Tenshi also. Oh, my goodness, what a coincidence. Yeah, right. Princess Ayaka, it is time for bed. Later, I am busy. Now go away. I cannot allow that. The Queen has given me strict orders. Oh, very well. And take her off to jail! Bedtime, little girl. Sweet dreams. Come, Princess, this way. Huh? Where am I? What's this place? Hey! Ryoko! Where did she go? No, oh, you... Stop it! I, I didn't do anything! Just let me out! Oh. That does it. This calls for some real action. Take that! What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to escape from this stupid little... Huh? Who are you? My name is Sasami. Sasami? Have you been kidnapped also? No, you silly. Are you joking? This is our ship. This is your ship? Then you're an alien from planet Sasami? No, you are silly. I come from the planet Jirai. What about those weird logs? <laughs> They're not really logs. They're guardians, our servants. Oh, man. What a relief. What's your name? Oh, right. My name's Tenshi. How do you do? How do you do? Will you play a game with me? Hmm... You look just like we do. <laughs> That's a cute pet. Mm-hmm. Blah! Hey, that looks like a... Uh, huh? Oh, yeah, it's gone! What's wrong? Oh, I had a sword like that one, but it's gone! It must have... Hmm. Hey, Sasami, could you do me a favor? Could you return me home right now? I, I was brought here by mistake. I don't have anything to do with anything. <laughs> well, I'll do a favor for you if you do me a favor. My darling Aieka, I must leave here tomorrow morning to do battle with a rampaging criminal. But don't worry, I will defeat this criminal and return. And when I come back... When you came back, I was to become your bride, but you never returned. He 
有收。My sister's room is right over there, see? <laughs> She's asleep now, so you know what to do. Yeah, I think so. Go in there and get her head ornament, is that right? That's right. But why should I? I mean, it does belong to her, doesn't it? Just get it. Okay, okay, I'll get it. Just make sure you remember your promise. Uh -huh. Don't worry. And <laughs> she... <laughs> Now, it's goodbye. Right after this. Only new Schick Hydro Power Select gives you hydration and custom power. Water-activated gel hydrates throughout each shave. And comfort control lets you choose the vibration setting. Customize our best shave for your skin. New Schick Hydro Power Select. Free your skin. Experience HD entertainment everywhere. Xperia Ion from Sony. That's my boyfriend. This isn't Bobby. He just looks like Bobby. He said he's like these new Skittles riddles. The colors on the outside don't match the flavors on the inside. Oh. Deceive the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Saki residents. Oh, hello, Tenchi's aunt. Oh, thank you for being so kind to Sasami. Oh, and that dish you taught her to cook the other day. Yes, we all enjoyed it very much. It was delicious. What? I see. Yes, I'm on my way now. Welcome home! Tenchi! Oh. Thanks for taking the trouble, Auntie. Hmm. Coming all this way to bring Sasami home. Well, Sasami, how was the baby doing? Well, he was cute. Oh. 
A gift? You're so kind. To celebrate the baby's birth? Well, something like that. <laughs> well, I have to be oh. going. All right. Why don't you come back with the baby? Next time you visit! Yes? Oh, Auntie, I... Uh, Hi. Here are the diapers and the formula and the toys. <coughs> Thanks. You see, his mother just became ill all of a sudden. I knew you wouldn't mind taking care of the baby. Anyway, it'll be just for a few days. You'll be fine, and with so many girls around the house, nothing to worry about. The uh, baby <laughs> Look, Anna... Bye bye. <laughs> Good luck. So, it's up to us to take care of this baby for a while. <laughs> He's so cute. Very fair. <laughs> He's too adorable. Hmm. Well, Tenshi was much more adorable when he was little. Wow, really? Yeah. Well, obviously they're related. See, his eyes look exactly like Tenchi's. Huh? Yeah, they do? And you see, if he's the grandson of Tenchi's aunt, well then, that means he's related to me also. So you grow up to be like Tenchi. Hmm. Oh, so cute! Wow! <laughs> Darling. Oh. Babies are so cute, aren't they? Hey, Ryoko! Now, let's play with Mommy. <laughs> hey, stop it! Stop it, babies! <laughs> oh. Well, well, now. What did I tell you? A monster like you can't be trusted with babies. <laughs> no way! Come, come, little one. You were scared. Hmm. What's that mean? You! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, hi there. Did you enjoy your trip? Mihoshi, would you change his diaper, please? Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, Miss Aika, I guess your dress got a little wet. Uh, I'm sorry. Tenchi, what's that? This, this I have to go wash. Please, Miss Aika, you go ahead and change. Really? You mean you're going to wash it? Why don't you leave that up to me, please? Oh, okay then, thank you. My pleasure. How thoughtful of her. <laughs> now, first you take this like so and... <laughs> He isn't here. Mahoshi, hmm? <coughs> you doing all right? Uh, um, uh, yes, I'm doing just great. <laughs> I'll be done in a second. Ah, 
Oh, and Mihoshi, don't forget to put the diaper cover over it. Huh. Diaper cover. Oh, I see. So this is a diaper cover. That's why it didn't work. <laughs> huh? Here you go. There you are. Ryoko. Ryoko, his diaper cover's not on yet. Hmm. He won't be so soon. But Tenchi told me to put the diaper cover on before I did anything hmm. else. Tenchi was much, much cuter when he was a baby. Hmm. Huh? Oh. Someone must have made some already. Huh? huh. Just drink. Drink it. Do it. Do it. Do Ryoko, it. Come on. Wait a minute. What kind of stuff are you trying to give him this time? What do you mean what kind of stuff? It's the formula this time, I swear. Aha! I thought so. Anything wrong? Oh, wow! I did it! All right, now he's okay. Yes! You <laughs> uh. sure are lucky to have such nice weather, Ayaka. Yes, indeed. The spring mist is in the air. What is it we're doing exactly? Exactly what you think we're doing. Ah! Whoopee! <laughs> I had no idea how much work it is taking care of a baby. Well, it's nice to relax. Now it's ah! time to take a bath. Whoa, whoa. Are you ready? We're going in. There, nice and warm. Babies feel so good, so soft and bouncy. What do I do now? Uh, uh, see? See, there's no use in doing mm. that. Uh, I can't breastfeed you. <laughs> Not yet. Mm. Hey, oh, oh, no, P please, stop it. Uh, uh, oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> there, there, Tenchi. Thank you, Sasami. Oh, my! Oh, my! Diapers, diapers! Milk, 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 milk. Oh, no! Milk, what shall we do? Milk, diapers, milk, diapers! Milk, milk, milk. Excuse me!
Who's there? Who is it? Come back later. I'm busy now. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Ah! What the? This is no good. It doesn't suit your constitution at all. Ah, I've got just the thing full of nourishment. Makes you big, makes you strong. Yes, this is it. There. Perfect. What do I think I'm doing? You, you're taking care of the baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so annoying, really. You just came into my lab without even asking me. So annoying. Sorry, little Washu. No one else will take care of him, so I had to. Tension. Hello. Morning. Yes. Yeah, oh, How about a little stop morning it, kiss for me? Get away from me? Oh, I see. Washu's taking care of you. Well, someone asked to. What do you want? Milk, of course. How do you know? Never mind, just do it. Here, have some milk. Just a minute. <clears throat> hey there, crazy girl. What are you trying to do, suffocate him? You just come sit here now. Whew, you have to give him a break so he can breathe. Hmm. You can't even feed the poor kid properly, can you? Sorry, Mom. I didn't raise you to be a good for nothing. Didn't raise me at all. Here you are. Wow, what's everybody doing here? Taking care of a baby or what? Okay, he's all yours now. Just leave it to me. There, there. Miss Washu? Thank you, little Washu. Come to your mama, baby. I knew it. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't like it. Him right. Yes, honey, you mama's oh, here. just can't work today. <laughs> you girls, really? Huh? Hmm. Uh, uh, 
Why do I always have to do this? April roses, tiny sparrows, comets bright and blue. You. It sure looks like the baby belongs to you now. Guess I don't have a choice. He's such an angel when he's asleep. But once he wakes up... That's the way it is. He doesn't know how to talk yet, you see. So he has to show what he wants with his body. Saying, I'm here, I want this or that. Right? You're a selfish little thing, aren't you? Well, it's only natural. You see, that's the only thing you can be when you're a baby. Hmm? What now? Oh, well, you see, I lost my mother when I was very little, and uh, I was wondering if this is how a mother and child are. Oh, yes. This is exactly how you and your mother were. Oh, you think so? I know so. Huh? Hmm? Oh. Uh, sorry, I woke you up. <laughs> well, I have to be on my way now, and, uh... uh... Penchy? Huh? Good night. Good night, little Washu. No, no, little one. I'm not your mommy. I'm not your mom. Bingo! Morning! What's up? Oh, Tenshi, good morning. It won't be long now, so you'll just have to wait a moment. Huh? Who could it be? Yes, honey, it's coming. Little Washu. Mm. Thank you for taking care of him. Thank you. It was so nice of you, really. That's okay. I really appreciate it. You did a great job for your age. Oh, well. There's so many girls around here, so I didn't have to take care of them alone. Mama, mama. <gasps> oh, my, the baby's talking. Wow, he really is talking. <laughs> mama, mama. Mama. Well, it's time for us to be going now. Thanks again. And please, tell Sasami to come visit Taro whenever she wants. Okay, that's great. I'll be sure to tell her. Yeah! Thank God he's gone! You worked the hardest of us all, little Washu. It was a lot of work, but then we'll miss him when he's gone, I guess. He called me Mom. Oh, babies, babies. Didn't she? Yes? I had a baby once. What? 
The father was a member of Royal Space Academy, like myself. We were both students when we got married. I loved him and felt so attached to him. Me and him and the baby. That was all I needed in the whole world. But you see, he was from a very prestigious family. While I was gone, messengers came from his family. And he and the baby were taken from me. Lineage, social status. Why should these things matter so much? That's how grown-ups are. If that's so, I'd be happier being a child, never ever growing up. That's terrible, little Washu. I don't know what to say. I feel like I should help. Uh, I, huh? Tenshi, I'll be glad to bear a child, if the child is yours. Whoa, 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 Miss Washu, really, I... No, 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 Tenshi. You can just call me Washu uh, now. Uh, 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 now, now, now. Just close your eyes, Tenshi. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Ouch, you shouldn't do that to your mommy, little Ryoko. <sighs> mommy, my butt! You just don't know when to stop, do you now? Hmm, honey, I thought I'd make you a little brother in case you're lonely being the only child in the family. I know it really must be tough. You don't understand how bad it is! I'm so sad. Baby, Miss Washu, how dare you say such things when you have a husband? How dare you? That was 20,000 years ago that I had a husband, had a husband. I, that I'm still quite so young, that I'm lonely come bedtime. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Hey, you, I'm not talking about that. You listen to me. You don't lay a finger on my Tenchi. Ryoko, how dare you? Ryoko, oh, I'm my. Shut you. up, I'm busy now. Please, Please stop Tenchi it, both of you. <gasps> Ever since Tenchi was Those born. kids, they are so helpless. Huh? Right, Tenchi? They Nonsense, never grow up, do they? Nothing more. I know Tenshi would agree with me. He's been mine since before he was born, I'm telling well, you. That's what you claim, nothing more. There is this strong bond of love between Tenshi and me. Got 99 problems. Ah! And these bitches are the main ones. Let's go! Let's 
Excuse me, ladies. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Tenchi Muyo. The complete series is available on DVD now. Excellent. Whoa, whoa. Really? You can't bring that in here. Okay. It's a different kind of summer festival. Next. GameStop. Six weeks of great deals and prizes. Save up to $90 on pre-owned system bundles that include select consoles, your choice of games, accessories, and more at GameStop. So we're at the hairdressers. Wow, you look like a new woman. Turn around. <laughs> I'm not happy with the color. You are watching Adult Swim. On Tsunami. Outlaw Star. We'll return on Tsunami. Hey, look at this. New Kit Kat thins. They taste like Kit Kats and they are thin. Creamy and crispy and they are thin. You can see why we call them Kit Kat thins. As a designer who has worked with brides for over 20 years, I've had the privilege of hearing thousands of spectacular love stories. These very stories are what inspired me to create my first ever jewelry collection. Because these beautiful jewels would not have a purpose if it weren't for love. Together these rings tell the story of the common thread that connects each one of us. What we all dream of, one brilliant love. Jared, love brilliantly. 5-Hour Energy helps you get stuff done. And now, when you purchase 5-Hour Energy, you can instantly win cash prizes. For complete rules on how to enter, visit 5hewin.com. 5-Hour Energy, the official sponsor of getting stuff done. I believe I found them. Let's go. Jean! Who the hell is that? What's going on here? Resuscitation system check in progress. So Hilda, who the hell is she? Her name is Melfina. Ah, Melfina? Systems normal. Estimated resuscitation time 600 seconds. Commencing countdown. Three, two, one. Resuscitation in 600 seconds. Resuscitation? She's been in a cold sleep. What are you trying to pull? If you want the details on Melfina, fix my arm and then I'll fill you in. Cybernetic prosthetic? I get it! That's why you ordered all those parts and everything! I don't think you realize the particular situation you're in now, Hilda. If you're gonna shoot, get it over with. But you must realize that if you do, you'll be hunted down by those pirates without even knowing who I am. Hmm. <laughs> Go ahead, Jim. Fix Hilda's arm for her. Uh, I... Don't just stand there! And Hilda, I suggest you hand over that gun you were carrying. Very well, then. This should be interesting. Maybe it will at that. Jean, we can't trust her one damn bit! I don't. All right, if you say so. It's just that women always make you screw up! Yeah, right. Before you fix her arm, hide the car and get ready for our guests to arrive. Gotcha. This is Nano Prometheus' is top of the line! Okay, who the hell are you? I've waited long enough. The name's Hilda. I'm an outlaw. Oh, come on, spare us. Here on Sentinel, everybody and his dog calls himself an outlaw. Gonna have to do better than that. Now tell us who you really are. There's nothing to it, really. I'm an outlaw who got into a bit of trouble with some pirates. We're after the same treasure, so I fled to this planet. You came from space? That's right. In your own ship? I left my ship back in orbit. I just came down on a dropship, that's all. 
Why would this girl be such a treasure to those pirates? Who knows? They wanted her, so I decided I would swipe her from them. Oh yeah, sure, I get it now. Right, what do you think I am, dumb? You have to understand, the trouble between us didn't start with this. Let's just say I have a bad history with them, okay? Hey, try to move it now! Now tell me so I can understand. I'm always looking for a reason to hate pirates. Well, now the pirates have a reason to hate you, am I right? A while back, when I got pushed too far, I took out one of the guild's leaders. It cost me, though. All done! If you don't give me a straight answer, it's gonna cost you even more. What the hell makes that girl such a special prize? Resuscitation in 360 seconds. Once she's awake, ask her yourself. So you're just gonna keep playing dumb. The pirates! Right, kill the lights, Jim. We know you're in there, and we know you can hear us. Now hand over Melfina! You have nothing that can stand against us. I won't us. ask you to help, if just stay out of my way. Don't you think, think it's a little late for that now? You have no choice Jeez. in the matter. Resuscitation you in 300 seconds. This nonsense. Now we have to stay alive until Melfina wakes up. Jim, give me a number three shell. We're out! What do you mean? We can't be out. I can't take out that old man with regular bullets. We've only got one number five and a 19. One five and one 19? All right, then give them to me. Uh, these are expensive, you know. Could you guys hold them off for just a few minutes? What about you? Melfina can't be moved while she's being resuscitated. Uh, but if we stick around here, we're dead. So I've been thinking if you two could just hold them off for a while, then I'd have enough time to go get my drop shit. She wants to run, Jean. You don't believe her, do you? None of this makes sense, Jim, but I've decided. You go with her while I stay with Melfina. Huh? I'm going with her? If she tries to skip out, make her regret it. Damn it, I'm supposed to be the brains of this outfit. Jim, hop to it. Let's get this party started. I gotcha. <laughs> Go! All right, I'll handle this. Pago Sanfa, Pago Sanfa, Pago Sanfa. Where is it? I sank it in this pond. Make it quick, will ya? You like Jean, don't you, Jim? Huh? Everybody needs a partner. Uh. You'll understand soon enough. Oh, shit, that guy's a towel master. Old magic? Out here on the frontier? Not bad for a number five. That just leaves me with a number 19. Time to take them all down. That's it! Game's over, old man! It's a dud! Stop. Ah, shit! Get them! Kill everyone but Melfina! It's too dangerous! Regroup! Talk about overkill! Resuscitation complete. Resuscitation complete. Now activating. Headed towards Star Space Calendar Year 156, the Keyline Project has been found successfully. Melfina? No time to make a lady cry. It wasn't me. Whatever. Just take Melfina out back. Hilda's waiting for us out there. All right, Jim. But first, we need to get Sleeping Beauty here dressed. Yeah, kind of distracting. Hmm. You ready down there? Let's go. Okay. 
Sounds like you two are hitting it off. We reached an understanding. <laughs> Trying to get away. <gasps> After that ship! Move it! Hilda, do you really think you can escape the guild and take Delfina with you? I'm leaving orbit and this system. So, what'll it be? Are you two coming along? Get damn right we haven't gotten our money yet. Ain't that right, Gene? What's the story with him? Oh, it's nothing. Gene's just a space cherry. I ain't a cherry. My first time was just way too young, that's all. You're an odd one, all right. Hang in there, Gene. Don't worry. Here, why don't you hold my hand? No, thanks. Anyway, I prefer women. Horace, lay in the shortest course to asteroid Blue Heaven. Roger. Hey, what's Blue Heaven, Gene? A free town, considered an outlaw hangout. And Horace is able to get us there in just two jumps. Ten seconds to submit the drive. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Oh, God, Gene, just pass out already, One. will you? Hey, Dad, I learned all the controls already. You decide to wake up? Got a problem with that? No, I don't. If you can keep quiet. <laughs> we have entered Blue Heaven Space. Blue Heaven Network access complete. Now displaying usable docks. All right, Horace, use Dock 8. Aye, Dock 8 selected. Preparing to dock at Blue Heaven. Dock 8 via route 221. Transferring to autopilot mode. 3, 2, 1. Now on autopilot. Gene, are you scared of space? No, I wouldn't say that. Well, what is it then? Just bad memories, that's all. Bad memories, huh? Hilda, have you been in space a long time? Long time. I guess you might say that. There you go, dodging my questions again. Hey, Gene, you're finally awake. Good to see you're alive. Lay off, will ya? Oh, that's just so cute. Yeah, I'll show you cute. Are you okay, Gene? 
Yeah, I'm fine. I'll take this over a spaceship any day. I guess your cherry's officially popped now. All right, drop it. I'm fine. You got it? Unless you want to make something of it. Hilda! How long has it been? Can you hang out for a while? Not right now. I need you to resupply and repair Horus. Got it. Just leave it to me. Check it out, Gina. Corbinite. I've never seen one before. Yeah. Who are they? Are you a tour guide now, Hilda? <laughs> Let's leave it at that, Swanzo. <laughs> Actually, I've got a message for you, but... Uh... It's okay. You can tell me here. McCoy says he can't make it. Why not? I'm not sure. Looks like he didn't want to get mixed up with pirates. Uh, he's nothing but a big chicken. I have one other piece of bad news. The McDougal brothers have been asking about you. Damn bunch of fools. Hey, 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 hey! McCoy this, McDougal that! When are you people gonna start talking some sense? Huh. <laughs> Don't butt into an adult conversation, kid. Did you call me a kid? Listen here, buddy! Whoa now! If you let yourself get worked up over everything, kid, you won't last long. <laughs> Using those things is banned here. You might want to remember that, kid. Relax, buddy. It's not even loaded. I was just bluffing. So firing a gun is banned in a free town? Why is that? Well, if a stray cracked a seal somewhere in the air escaped, everybody who lives here would go straight to heaven. Morons who can't follow the rules don't have a right to go on living. Yeah, or maybe only morons who follow the rules live here. So, that's what an outlaw is, huh? They're pirates? Sounds like this other youngster doesn't understand either. There are three powers in space. The Space Forces, Pirates, and the Outlaws. The difference is what motivates them. What motivates an outlaw varies from person to person. Good or bad don't figure into solidarity and sense of duty. And that's what makes them outlaws. Take a look at this, Swanzo. This ain't gonna be a one-person job. Damn it, all right, I'll be right there. See you around, Hilda. Sure, take care of him. Bye, kids. Behave yourselves now. No way, I don't think so. I don't know the first thing about clothes shopping. How did I get suckered into it? She's with you, isn't she? I have some place to go, and Melfina needs clothes. I'd rather she'd be with you. I know she'd be in good hands that way. Remember, Melfina is important to us. Okay, I see. How about this, then? Melfina goes with Jim, because that way the job is sure to get done, and then I can go along with you. It's a deal. And what a deal. Let's meet at the hotel, then. Okay, Jim? Right. Step right up and taste my delicious meat pies. Step right up. Jim, I'm sorry. Eh, don't worry about it. Mm. How's it going in there? Huh? What do you think? You look absolutely wonderful. Hey, not bad, Malfina. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, Hilda, so what now? This is an outlaw hangout. I figured if there's anybody halfway decent here, I'd hire him. So, it's not a job you can handle alone. I think it's time you tell me what the job is. Enough with the secrets! All right. I'm going to pick up a certain ship. A certain ship? It's a very special ship. A ship that has enough power to dive into the ether Sargasso. It's called a grappler ship. A grappler... spaceship? If you're planning to come along, you might think it over. Make sure it's what you want. Because it sounds like you're a bit of a space hater. Just mind your own business. Hilda! Well, Hilda, did I just hear you say something about being short-handed? I could help you out if you are. McCoy, you bastard. Not a chance. I'm looking for people who've got some skill. We got plenty of skill! Hey, now don't be greedy. We all want to make some money. We outlaws are partners here. Partners? Now, now, you came here looking for partners. Come on, Hilda, isn't that right? Okay, oh. 
Okay, that does it. You trying to start something, idiot? Right, here we go again. Watch this. <laughs> you want some, huh? We ain't gonna play nice just because you're a woman. Now turn tail and run, because next time I won't be nice. Yeah, damn you, Hilda, we'll remember this! So guys like that are outlaws too? Well, it's just like it is with the stars. There are bright ones, and there are those that are dim. And which kind are you? Well, that's for you to decide. How'd you like to find out? Gene and Hilda are gonna share a room? Yes, sir. Oh, damn it, that scumbag. Don't tell me he's gonna make a move on her. How could she have okayed this? No, I bet he was seduced this time. Here's the key to your room, sir. <laughs> Did you mean our room? Yes, sir, room 345 with twin beds. Uh... Well, you heard the man. Damn it, Gene. Don't you know there's a time and a place for these kind of things? So how do you think this looks, Jim? It's not bad, I guess. Well, shall I sleep here tonight? Yeah, okay. Sleep with you? Yeah, no, no, you use that bed, all right? Okay. Damn fools from the bar, huh? Oh, there's never a dull moment with you, is there? Or much time for anything else, I guess. Just be ready. What's going on up there? Did you get him? Damn it! Let's go, and don't use your gun. What, against that? And you're telling me I can't use my gun? That's right, because he isn't using one. Uh, I knew that. See it the way Tsunami could never give it to you, with nudity and more violence. You'll pay for that, you worm! Outlaw Star, available now on DVD. Big O is coming up next. Not very ladylike behavior, Dorothy One. Tony Bolonovich here. People call me the king of cold cuts. The sandwich business has been real good to me. But now I got this Jimmy's John showing up on my turf. I'm Jimmy's John's, and I have high-quality, reasonably priced sandwiches. Big deal. You got all natural meat sliced by hand. I got turkey and ham made by science. I'm good. I'm coming for you, Jimmy's John's. This is war. Sandwich war. T-Mobile is the leader in 5G. We also believe in putting people first by treating them right. So we're upping the benefits without upping the price. Introducing Magenta Max. Now with unlimited premium data that can't slow down based on how much smartphone data you use. Plus, get Netflix on us and taxes and fees included. You won't find this with the other guys. In fact, you'll pay more and get less. Right now, pay zero cost to switch. And bring your phone, we'll pay it off. Only at T-Mobile. Today we have the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 and the MacBook Pro. The Surface comes with a pen and it is touch screen. Mac gave this little bar, but why can't they just give me a whole touch screen? The Surface Pro has a detachable keyboard. Now with the Mac, you're kind of just stuck with what you got. But with the Surface, yes, you can run your favorite apps on it. It has the power to run all your apps. It is a much better gaming device. I love my games. Then there's the price. Yeah. My name is Roger Smith. I perform a much needed job here in the city of amnesia. Now, Big O, it's showtime!
Stand clear. This one is mine. One that I hoped I would never see again. Big Duo. Who's in there? Who's operating you? <laughs> Schwarzwald. <laughs> Dorothy! Whoever the hell you are that's put yourself behind those controls, I don't have time to play right now! be on my side in this fight. <clears throat> Dorothy! seek it out, unknowingly become obsessed with this grand illusion that they're able to control this world. This tiny world. The incomplete book of Gordon Rosewater's, written in his younger days, depicts the final days of humanity. And the foolish humans who use the power of God I think you understand, Dad, why I did what I did. As I emulate you, I will create history with my own two hands. sense to just let him have his way, don't you agree? No matter how often you come back from the grave, that's where you belong. Eternal sleep means eternal! It's moving. 
<laughs> it's you! <laughs> no way! Alan Gabriel! <laughs> oh, I must say, this does feel good. I haven't felt anything quite like this since I decided to quit being a total human! Oh. Oh. My body, my nerves, they've all been tied directly into Big Duo. Big Duo itself is my very own body! You go that far? Well, you have it backwards. That incomplete Megadeuce has control of you. What? An incomplete Megadeuce seeks out a Dominus. You're just being used as a device to activate it. That's exactly why your master stole Dorothy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Which do you mean? The Union? Rosewater? Either way, I don't care. <laughs> There's just one thing I have to make perfectly clear to you. I have to teach you that your unwarranted self-confidence, your arrogance in believing you can control machines, is just a delusion by sending you to hell, Big Duo! Showtime! Attack must have. <laughs> Ordinarily, I'm not one to whine. But I do have to admit that this fight has me a little worried. However... <laughs> that isn't the Megadeuce's original form. The fantasies that Gordon dreamed up will not be repeated! <laughs> Men who do nothing but dream! Should just stay in their dreams forever! It's Dominus. Who's there? What the? Why is this happening? Possess the foolishness of both man and machine. Shut up! It chooses one who controls the power of God created by man. One who is able to arrive at one truth. That's not the case with you!
the Union. We have a serious matter ahead of us. Gordon Rosewater's dome was set on fire, and it looks as though he's... I'm sorry, but I have something urgent to see to. Those combat machines that attacked your place, my men are successfully trailing them. I appreciate it, Dustin, but at this point I already know where I need to go. What are you telling me, Roger? That I can't help this city? That there's nothing I can do? A man should find out for himself what his purpose in life is. Isn't that right, Dustin? Alex Rosewater is trying to become this world's god, even if it means committing patricide. What am I doing? Angel, and now Dorothy. I chase after people who have left, people who have been taken away. But this time, it's... What's going on? <gasps> Dorothy! <sighs> Dorothy, you're safe now. Business is done here. And a job well done. I appreciate all your hard work. You can pick up your check later. Huh? Yeah, sure. I bet you're happy now that you'll have full control of that thing. I see you understand. Yes, of course. I'm really looking forward to it. He who becomes Dominus of Big Fowl becomes ruler of the world. Why do I get the feeling when that half-mechanical jerk piloted that Megadeuce you knew exactly what would happen. You're a capable man who not only possesses valuable memories, but who also understands how they should be used. Jeez, give it a rest. Paradigm City will be a battlefield soon. Once it's over, I'm going to reset this city once again. I'll reset it with my own will and my own strength. <clears throat> you mean that our memories will bite the big one again? I don't intend to repeat something so inefficient. Huh? That was the one blunder that my father had made. A blunder, huh? Look, I think... I want your help. Huh? Now and forever. Her memory circuits have all been pulled out, as well as their I.O. peripherals. And sir, even if we were able to get Dorothy's original memories back, there is only one person who could properly restore them. The late Professor Wainwright. I will see to it that Big O is repaired and rearmed before the night is over. Please do. Oh yes, one more thing, sir. This was delivered just a short while ago. Who's it from? Oh, Schwarzwald. Schwarzwald's letter was to be delivered to me only in the event of his death. This man had continually made it his mission in the city to faithfully seek out the truth and report it to the public. Schwarzwald, I can't help but wonder. It's as if he was still wandering the city relentlessly in search of his own personal truth, even after his body had perished. I wonder 
if he knew. When he was betrayed by Big Duo, did he realize then that there is probably more than one truth? The power of God created by man. Divine thunder raining down from the heavens. Dorothy, since you first came to live here, I feel like I've known you forever. You know, I never answered that question you had asked me a while ago, did I? You had asked, if you were human instead of an android, would you and I have fallen in love? If things had been different like you said, then maybe we would have. That's my answer to you. And please don't tell me that I'm dodging the issue. Right now I can't seem to commit to one truth. But I know that I won't waver in doing what needs to be done or in going down the path that I have to take. Wait for me. of a little angel. I know you'll live a very happy life and I want you to believe that, all right? It can't be. It just can't. This isn't possible. are my 
memories. How did they... yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Yeah. With great deals, get ready to turn your dreams into reality. What makes an amazing deal even better? How about that every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, a two-year or 25,000-mile no-cost maintenance plan with roadside assistance. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. about <laughs> but you can't be me is this possible but this is how could this be my mother my home
giants who formed this world into its sensual existence and now seem to live in it in chains are in truth the causes of its life and the sources of all activity. But the chains are the cunning of weak and tame minds which have power to resist energy. Get in my way. What is that? Where's that coming from? Repairs to block R-72 are completed. Very good. Prepare yeah, for the reloading, reloading of the weaponry's weapon ammunition. This may very well be the last task that we'll ever have to perform. I don't think so. We won't let them take away our purpose in life just yet. <laughs> Military Police HQ, send medical now! that I need to take care of. <coughs> Gordon Rosewater, you are truly the king of Paradigm City. The City of Deceptions. <clears throat> Would you hurry up and uh, serve me that tomato stew? I'm really very hungry. What are you saying? <clears throat> Welcome home. My angel. You... <laughs> I guess there's no place like home. Your favorite line from your favorite book. Wasn't it Agent 340? Agent 12? Vera Ronstadt? You're supposed to be my mother? 
You must be joking. What is this city? The thought of this ridiculous room being here makes me laugh. What are you talking about? Look at this pathetic old man. That Oedipus wannabe son of his even tried to kill him. Wouldn't you say it's about time the tomato stew was ready? Oh, I have to say this city is so lovely. Uh, I'm so hungry. I need some tomato, tomato, tomato stew, tomato stew. <laughs> ah! Father, mind your manners. <sighs> your thunderbolts and burn down this city I am the son of the king the man who rebuilt this world I will recreate this world myself but before I do all of you who don't deserve to exist in my world will be eliminated and that includes you filthy scum Target you can't even see! The Paradigm Justice Department says, Sir, smash the foreign invasion and praise the full restoration of Big Bow, which will be the symbol of the new order. Who? What? Cease fire immediately! What do they think we are? Hey! I will have the true memories in my possession. All this time I was mistaken. But it won't be long now, for I realize what those memories really are. Deep underground, a place where we are assaulted by our primal fears, and a place that I must confront. I had rescued him from his burning dome, thinking he might still have some memory fragments. But it was a waste of time. You called him father back there. He's your father, too. In one of his foolish attempts, he tried to revive memories. Within his own genes and those from the Elder Statesman, creating tomatoes via artificial cultivation. We were considered the inferior stock, cast aside in order to produce a superior species. This place... this place was my home? But even if the superior tomatoes could remember what happened 40 years ago, they could not remember one thing prior to that. And sadly, they were killed at the very instant they became aware of that fact. Who did this? He is one who believes that he is Gordon's only son, an Oedipus. I thank you, Dad, from the bottom of my heart, for bringing me into this world. What about our people? What about the Union? The Union symbolizes the hatred of a people who were forsaken when this city was constructed 40 years ago. We, the breed who was abandoned and cast out of the city, are the ones who deserve to unify the power now. Revenge? That's why you want the memories? Our motives are just. And to get them, you would blatantly rewrite the I memories of the more. living? Our means are just. What memories are there? What could possibly be left at the bottom of the earth? You know, you too are losing your sanity. <laughs> no, I'm quite sane. Sane enough to know that I can't trust myself. The Union is just a place that reminds me of heaven. A place I have a hard time believing in. Anyway, I lost the right to go there a long time ago. So did you. Agent 12. You've been a bad little girl! My dear little 
Take you home. And you too, sir. Let's go. <laughs> Something else that goes against my policies. Using violence against women. So I'd prefer it if you wouldn't resist any further. You're just like us. A useless attempt at artificial cultivation. Even if it's true, it doesn't change the fact that I am who I am. <sighs> the way in which you were given life has nothing to do with the way you live your life as a human being. Do you really think that everyone is as idealistic as you are? You can see it, Dominus. We'll rain down thunderbolts and burn this city to make them atone for their sins! You're wrong! What do you mean, sir? How is she wrong? Of all my cherished tomatoes, Negotiator, you aren't one of my beloved ones. And neither is this young lady. And the words in that book don't belong to me either. It's a story that a dream commanded me to put down. No one ever had memories of the world prior to 40 years ago, including myself. But memories themselves have existed in unexpected forms. You're just senile. My compatriots and I will remind you of the shame you caused us when the Union destroys the world you have built. The Union? It's just a tiny gathering of people scattered across the wasteland. It's just a name perhaps never existed in the first place. That's impossible. Don't you hear that? That rumble? The sound of the fires of wrath, unleashed by my compatriots. They don't exist. They never did. <gasps> Paradigm City, a grand ostentatious stage. And above it, secretly looking down on the folly of human blunders, were not the ever-expecting and comforting presence of gods, but only this abandoned equipment. <laughs> this is a comedy! That which I was searching for! The true memories! They were... How could this be possible? There's no way that something like that could exist above Paradigm City. Huh? What? What is that? Memories. They're found within people. And if they come in any other form, they're nothing but fakes. But everyone has lost them, even yourself. I have made a terrible mistake. What? Just because they're within us, doesn't mean we can get access to them and retrieve them from our conscious mind. Young lady, you are surely a memory. <gasps> the proof is in the marks on your back. What are you... what are you saying? I'm simply saying you yourself are a memory. Stop it! They prove that you aren't human, but rather a memory itself. Enough! Stop it! Stop it! They're telling me that I'm not human. <laughs> if memories are intangible, there is no need to acquire them. What are you trying to do? No one else can have them either. Do you hope to wake the dead who hunger for memories from their sleep? 
my dear daughter. for me. I said that if it's true about this world, if it's one enormous stage, then we are just merely actors playing out our roles on it. We don't need to have any memories. But I've always wondered why can't there be those who can change their roles? I wanted that person to negotiate with the one who directs this world. You mean to tell me I had memories? Possible. That can't be. I, I am. I, I am. Damn it all! It can't be. I'm not one of those defective tomatoes. monster whose hungry for memories has taken in my poor daughter a bird whose wings have been plucked will shed all its feathers and turn into the beast it was before it evolved into a bird that was the message she told me to tell you before she left but why are you telling me this Continue your negotiations, negotiator. True, Dominus. Sorry, but I'm having a hard time accepting that as the truth, negotiator. This city is cursed, and I will strike a curse on you, Roger Smith. Rosewater. People don't want to live in a world where gods fight amongst each other. One god is enough. You know exactly who you are. As for me, I haven't the slightest idea who I am. But there's one thing I do know. Even if everyone else continues to forgive you for the sins you've committed to obtain your power, that's not something I can agree to. I'm getting tired of all your talk. Showtime! Be true, could it be real? My heart's 
says that you're the one. There's no one else. You're the only one for me. Yes, this time I lost the real thing. Never felt the love is so. giant robot can beat the crap out of your giant robot. Here you go! Action! And this is one of the key colors. Big O. Available on DVD now. Yu Yu Hakusho is coming up next. <laughs> on Tsunami. Invincible to any attack. It's no use. Then you don't mind if I try! Did you 
know the shrill call of the Reaper steals the lives of those weak souls unable to resist its siren song. I myself think it sounds more like a choir of singing cherubs. But what matters is how it sounds to you. Right, Genkai? <laughs> said their fury will destroy any living creature they touch. I advise using an energy barrier to ward them off. <laughs> Now that you've witnessed the most awesome display of power ever unleashed at the Dark Tournament, there should be no debate about who the greatest showman is. Such impact on the audience. They will never forget the famous Shishiwakamaru. In killing the renowned Genkai, I've adopted her repute, bolstering my status as a living legend. <laughs> I waited a long time for this. I only wish Genkai had been stronger so I could show my full power. That giant crater is right where I was standing. That means it could have been me who was blown apart. Uh... I know how you feel, little girl. That could have been me, too. Hmm. You still think she's weak? I'm surprised my sword sound alone didn't kill you, you withered old hag. Yes, silly me. I must have forgotten to turn my hearing aid on. When you get to be a washed up old lady like me, the memory is the first to go. Shut up! I won't be humiliated on my own stage! Don't think for a minute you can keep running from my chorus of a thousand skulls. Either your luck or your knees are bound to give out in time! Shishi Wakamaru isn't really planning on using that thing again! No, the guy's gotta be kidding around! Everyone, let's run for our lives! <laughs> We're all gonna die! Not again! Wow, hundreds of fans are playing the stadium in droves, trying to get out of the way of Shishi's next violent attack. I have to admit I'm a little afraid myself of what's coming next, but I'm sticking around because we announcers have to be held to a higher standard. Wouldn't you agree, Jerry? Huh? Jerry, where are you? Screw this, they don't pay me enough. Sit down and shut up, you lily never cowards! Uh-huh, I'd rather die than miss the chance of seeing Genkai get what she deserves! Looks like some dedicated fans are staying put in their seats to watch the carnage unfold! Of course, it doesn't matter how many people are in the stands, this place is gonna go- The show goes on. My sword knows many impressive tricks beyond the chorus of a thousand skulls. <laughs> Surround us with the cage of hell! <laughs> run, run 
as fast as you like. You'll run out of breath before you get out. There's no escape for you this time. <laughs> He's taken the disenfranchised cries of the dead and materialized them into an enclosure. It's one hell of a cage match. To the death! Idealists like you who fight for justice make me wretch. Stardom is the purest fuel for strength, and that's how it should always be. You softies are only crowding the room. Where do you get the impression I'm some kind of crime-fighting hero? I thought you were familiar with my past. Yes, like every other apparition in this stadium who cares one inkling for history, and the choice you're famous for is an insult I will replace. I will be a big star! I already am one, pretty boy. Pay attention, you'll learn something. Shut up! You're worth nothing to me alive! I'll slice you in half, human! That's hardcore! She was drained! Where did she get all this power? You're back! Spirit reflection I can't afford to waste my own energy, so I borrowed some of yours. I hope you can understand. I am a very busy old lady. How could you do such a vindictive thing to me, you second-rate thief? The energy in that attack was mine, and it was destined to... to earn my greatness! Don't you... don't you realize what I'm supposed to become? Perhaps I could learn something from Genkai as well. It'll take more than parlor tricks to keep a consummate champion like me down! The chorus of a thousand skulls! Apparently, Shishi had a lot more energy than we first gave him credit for. That is right. Little good it's doing him now that Genkai's claimed it. It's good to see her again. Man, she's something else. Yeah! Get some demon blood! Give it back! Don't fight for justice. No, I fight to get what I need for myself and always have. I attack whoever stands in my way. It just so happens that a great deal of those people happen to be demons. I think I may have fallen in love. If things had turned out differently for us, and if you still looked like this all the time, we could have been together once. Aren't I a lucky one? Whoa! 
Yu Yu Hakusho. Wow! Where'd that come from? We'll return in a moment. Expected nothing out of me. Just makes for a better surprise. Ready? Begin! <laughs> That one coming, did you? I don't know what pocket Kuvar was hiding the sword in, but he is clearly stronger than before. His entire body is surrounded by a shocking electric aura. The energy drawn in by that sword strengthens Kuwabara's body and improves both his offense and defense. If Taguro doesn't realize that, Kuwabara may actually have a chance. If there's any way to bring you down, Taguro, I'll find it! <laughs> That weapon looks awfully dangerous. Try not to slip. What's he doing? He isn't moving! That really got you, huh? Sorry! Oh my goodness, people! I don't know if I should believe this! Kuwabara's first swing has ripped Elder Tagoro in two! I think this fight is over! I thought Kuwabara was dead for sure. Honestly, so did I. Hey, I didn't. Hey, um, did Kuwabara just win? I don't know. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm really incredible! I beat a Taguro brother in one attack! And the winner is... Kuwabara! Analysis is always, Koto, but could he maybe have a twin? We do background checks on all the contestants, and there was no sign of that. Hmm. How about triplets? <sighs> you are a very simple-minded child. It feels so nice to trick you. <sighs> it's supposed to be one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do assure you that my decoy and I are part of the same body. You got me. But when you see the truth of it, it's just a paper cut. I feel the sensation of pain, but it's quite unlike yours. You see, I can move my body's vital organs wherever I please. When I see your attack coming, I simply adjust so that all you hit is flesh. It makes injuring me very complicated. Ah, all you are is a little freak show. <laughs> It is truly an exquisite sword. You inherit it from her? You would think she'd leave something like this for her apprentice. But I guess Yusuke wasn't strong enough. You don't know what you're talking about. Genkai is just sick. Oh, that's perfectly sad. Your friends have been keeping secrets. Genkai is dead. She has been for two days. No! <gasps> It can't be! Uh, 
Oh my gosh, is it true, Botan? <laughs> Why didn't I see that? Give it a break. You're the only one left. Isn't that nice? Genkai really didn't show up in time for a battle. No, you pull your own weight from now on. I see. Everybody really did know about it but me. They kept me out on purpose. They didn't think I could take it. <laughs> Don't cry, Kulbar. It isn't your fault the old winch couldn't stay. Go and question her yourself if you don't believe me. Another few inches and I can pick out your heart. Someone stop him! Kuwabara! <laughs> what a sad life when your friends aren't even straight with you. But I will tell you everything about the frailty of your humankind. It's the story of a young, impressionable human girl named Gin Kai. She was the most beautiful girl in all the land. <gasps> she was a fighter who wanted to be the very best in the world. Then she met a man named Tagoro who also wanted to be the best, and he agreed to play with her. They did everything together, so much so that the man nearly forgot his own brother. The woman and the man were even in love. But then the woman became ugly like a prune and no one wanted to be around her. Brother. Oh, it's okay. He's just a little anxious because this next chapter is his favorite part in the story. You see, the man became a demon who would stay strong and never become a prune. The ugly woman became extremely jealous of the handsome man and went to fight him, but she was not strong anymore. So the man was happy to murder her. <laughs> this sadistic puppet show has brought up a very different explanation for Genkai's absence. Apparently, she was killed by Tagoro before the finals even began. Talk to me, okay? Is it true what he said? Is Genkai really gone now? <sighs> it's terrible. Muttering some final rubbish to her failed apprentice, the woman's soul drifted away to some quiet corner of hell. We lived happily ever after. <laughs> That's all crap! Genkai wasn't jealous to girl killed her because he couldn't have her! Your brother's something of a fool. Yes, it's a bad habit of his. I'm gonna kill you. You better know that! That's very nice enthusiasm, but you must have forgotten I have your weapon. I'd give it back, but helplessness is more fun. You're honorless! Yes, I am! Good thing that's not what this tournament is about! <laughs> Elder Tagoro has shot his drill-shaped hand directly into Kuwabar's chest cavity! What's happening here? I can't pierce your skin! I see. Kuwabara's strength and his resolve appear to be closely related. You have no soul. You're just a nasty little waste of space! No! on his normal spirit sword. <laughs> Elder Tagoro's left on the floor in a pile of assorted body parts. We may really get to chalk up an X on the scoreboard this go-round. <sighs> that was nice. Is it real this time? Well, he does look divided. I'll start the ten count. One, 
ten. I've seen enough mauling and amputation in my day to know when a ten count isn't necessary, and this one definitely qualifies. Kuwabara has destroyed the Elder Tagoro, giving a 2-1 lead to Team Yurameshi. One more like that, and the championship is theirs. No question, Kodo. Use K will win the next one for sure. It's in the can. Hey, who did that? Don't make me put this horn into action mode. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, as I was saying, I think Team Taguro has an excellent chance of clinching this victory as well. The fact is, I'm neutral. Either team can win. I know it's important for a color commentator to have opinions, but in doing? this case, I'm undecided. Six! Maybe honor doesn't matter to your kind, Taguro, but it does to Seven. me! Seven! Eight! <sighs> Stop counting. Do you really think it's over? I was only surprised for a moment. I didn't think you could attack me that way. I should be more careful. What are you? Hmm. Good question. I'd like to know that myself. I suppose you should ask the tournament committee who made my wish come true. I knew I'd become a demon. The rest was just trial and error. <laughs> you better conserve your energy from now on. You're already hurt, and I have yet to be... You're invincible! I need to retract my former statement, people! Elder Tagoro is alive and he's clearly still in this match! Every time you think he's down, he shows a new side of his talent! This guy's absolutely bizarre! This is the most awesome thing ever! Someone kill me! I've seen it all! I hope the human cuts him before he dies! I want to see him come together again! The only chance you have of beating me and surviving Kuwabara is to pierce either my heart or my brain. But that's not very fair, is it? It's kind of like searching for a needle in a haystack, except the needle can move whenever it chooses to. Shut up! <laughs> I think I'll just skip the search and send you straight to your death. Don't forget to tell Genkai how much we miss her! <laughs> Seguro makes a smashing comeback, slamming Kubara face first into the concrete. Now's your chance to cry and beg for your life like your dear friend Ginkai did right before my brother killed her. Liar. Oh, Kubara appears to be down. So I guess I better start the count. One, two, three. You can stop. I have other plans for this one that don't include him living to see the end of this match. Get up. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but I have to count. Then you will end up next to him. Okay, then. The funny thing is that even if you could stand up, which you can't... <laughs> There's no way you can beat me. You see, you'll never be able to precisely pinpoint my vital organs because they are never in one place for very long. Whether it's in this fight or the next one, Takuro, know this. I will beat you. I was going to play with you a while longer, but your voice grows irksome. Perhaps I'll just cut out your tongue. Kuwabara? <laughs> My mother always wanted me to become a surgeon. If I can only reach... It's a pity I played hooky the day we dissected frogs. Well, here goes. Yikes! You monster! Free where you can! <laughs> Come to Baba! <gasps> what is that? It's another round of slicing for the bad guy. Goodbye. <laughs> Shot, and I do want to count! Uh, I shouldn't be taking orders from you guys, but since this one complies with the actual rules, one! There's no need for that, young lady. Huh? <laughs> you are quite a slow learner. Kuwabara, I thought we already established that my body does not like to go to pieces, so it doesn't. Too bad. It's a look you deserve. There's no way this man can ever be defeated, is there? 
Don't say that. <coughs> I've been very sporting. You know I've told you exactly how to end my life, and yet you are obviously unfit to do it. <laughs> I've thought about what you said before, Tagoro. And you're right, I got no way of knowing where your vital organs are hiding. So I'll just pound everything all at once. Kuwabara shaped his sword into something like a giant tennis racket. And I believe he's about to make Tagoro into his unwilling bright yellow ball. Uh, stay back! <laughs> well, since we're sharing here, my mother always wanted me to be an exterminator. So now... It's time to make her proud of me! Spirit Flight Water! Uh. Whoa! Nobody around here expected that Kuwabara had enough energy to whack Tagoro into oblivion! We couldn't show you the finale. But now you can own every episode. Bring it on. You're getting your money's worth today, Fight Fans. Yu Yu Hakusho, available on DVD now.